Okay, everyone, we just learned that The Walking Dead's leading man, Andrew Lincoln, who plays Rick Grimes, will not continue on the series throughout season nine. Currently, he is planned for a six episode arc in season nine, after which he will depart from the series. <gasps> Lincoln is the only cast member to remain on the show from its pilot in 2010, or was it 2009? Uh, Chandler Riggs Carl was killed off this past season, and Lenny James Morgan returned for the past few seasons. He was gone for a bit. Uh, now he recently recently moved on to Fear the Walking Dead. And really, after Andrew Lincoln, the only cast members left from season one are Norman Reedus, who plays Daryl, and Melissa McBride, who plays uh, Carol. AMC is reportedly in talks with Norman Reedus to give him a raise to $20 million to stay on the show throughout season nine. So or that, you could cancel it. Or you could cancel it. <laughs> you could just <laughs> bring the show to an end. That's the that's just kind of saying. the question now, right? Because the death of Carl was such a huge shocker to viewers because Carl was really the future of the storylines in Robert Kirkman's comics. He kind of becomes sort of what seems like the, the successor. Um, to lose Rick would be an even bigger blow. He really is the heart of the series. So, uh, I mean, you could say that maybe Daryl and Carol and Negan are certainly strong supporting characters I would say having watched all these episodes more than once the way their characters have been used in recent seasons has kind of lost some of the enthusiasm at least I have had for them in in past seasons like three and four um but I don't know do you guys think there is a future for the show how what could a future look like if Daryl's now the leading man on the show or is it really time to call it quits whenever shows have made these kind of tougher calls to try to keep going when the lead actor leaves it's never they don't last long they'll probably get another season usually the Walking Dead is the biggest show cables ever had period forever and ever amen but like that you can only keep going for so long and since fan excitement for the show I don't know specific numbers off the top of my head of what kind of like viewership they still 17. get 17? Well, that was the peak. <laughs> yeah, it actually was 17 million viewers for the Negan uh, Glenn episode. It's dropped. It's mm -hmm. now beneath 10 million viewers an episode for uh, many of the episodes in season 8. But that's still really good. But still anyways, good, yeah. uh, that, I, I wouldn't see the show going much further. But again, I am not the biggest fan of Walking Dead, so I do not know. Well, let's try to come up with a way that if the show had to keep going because money... Uh, then I, I don't know that it's Norman Reedus leading the same story again, right? Like, right. Andrew Lincoln did a good job in his character. You know, even in the comics, like, they almost run out of stuff to where to take his character. He just becomes an old man, basically. It's like, yeah. Yeah, just there's, there's some talks that maybe Lauren Cohan as, uh, as Maggie could. She could. But she's also, her contract has been kind of in question on whether she's going to return Well, these the are show. actors that want to have careers, right? Yeah, like, yeah, outside on, of yeah. just this one show, which especially, you know, Andrew Lincoln was starting to age out of it. Yeah. I'm sure he also is sick of having a beard and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but what is the version of this show that, say, they were like, okay, we're going to do a hard pivot. You know, yeah. is there another thing? I'm, my gut always goes to the. I know that this is a story that's been told. I always really like like military and like like the White House version. Like what what happened to the president? What happened to the the vice president? I always love seeing the the um, institutions crumble. Yeah. So mm. I think it'd be interesting to follow an institution. Well, doing what um, Darabont wanted to do from the the guy in the tank from the oh, pilot yeah. was that Sam Witwer by yes. the way, his voice of Darth Maul and actual Darth Maul and Solo. Yeah, he they were going to follow him in season two, as we know, and, for and, a little bit at least. And for yeah. a little bit, um, mm -hmm. it's tough, right? Because Fear the Walking Dead already showed us a version of like the earlier part of the timeline, right? And but they, they didn't show us. Now. They showed us kind of what I think I'm saying is like pretty common to see is like the little band of military that's always supposed to be like a salvation but then it ends up being corrupt kind of thing uh, but I think like what about like a, a version of like Apocalypse Now or something like a Colonel Kurtz figure that's yeah. out there and like actually has you know he he has sees himself as the um, head of the government now mm -hmm. because he's the highest ranking military official and then like you know but he's also corrupt and maybe other military people have to take him out or something like I don't know I could see some sort of thing there but again I'm talking about a pretty hard pivot it, that would have to be a hard pivot I think there's a version of this that could maybe and this is probably what they would try to do if, if Norman Reedus, Reedus ended up taking up the show is basically have Norman Reedus as the leader of the, of the survivors of the Alexandria safe zone and have the whisperer storyline with him and he has to deal with Alpha and all the characters who are connected with the Whisperers which doesn't sound that exciting because really it's maybe it's just because the version story. of Daryl we know is from recent seasons where he's really just been like running around the woods grunting. Well and also the Whisperer <laughs> storyline <laughs> is not it's not like there's one crazy the cool thing that happens. It's in a the cool idea too yeah. and yeah. The, the, the show could benefit from taking some creative you know, choices of their, making some creative choices of their own and changing it up a little bit. But yeah. uh, I mean, if you 
safe bet for me, you go with the fan favorite character, and that's Norman Reedus. I know that you you are right about his Durrell. current uh, Durrell. Durrell. <laughs> uh, his current like situation, the way he's been portrayed, but you could spend some time like growing and making him actually yeah. like develop more. So I think the show needs to be smaller. Like AMC, if you're looking for a way to save money with this, like season one just felt so intimate and on a personal level, like the opening sequence, which, you know, pretty much adapted frame for frame from Robert Kirkman's comics had like this 28 days later feeling to it. And it felt mm-hmm. like, yeah, this is a very interesting story. And now it just feels like post-apocalyptic politics in a way that sometimes is interesting, but overall just feels like we're jumping around to B plots and episodes with characters that we aren't that excited about. Um, but I, I think there's a way to make this work instead of maybe doing eight episodes and eight episodes, 16 episodes that you got to fill up, like maybe just have like a six episode arc and maybe make that all of season nine. And if it does well, make it six great episodes and then decide which characters you want to bring back for season 10, which could be just another six episodes if you decide to go with that way. Yeah. I think the biggest issue of the show had is that, and it had to because of logic, it's been on so long. They had to figure out how to deal with walkers and they did. Mm-hmm. And so the biggest threat, the titular threat of the show stopped mattering, right? It was now the walkers on the show are almost the idea of like, yeah, Carl got in a car accident or something, right? It's like yeah. this thing that like, if everything goes according to plan, you shouldn't even be worried about the walkers. And then, oh no, the dam broke and he drowned in walkers. Like the walkers have just become kind of uh background set dressing. That, yeah, yeah. Like, like just like, whoa, this rock is slippery. On! <laughs> like, like that's what it feels like to be attacked by a walker now, instead of that looming threat that almost like Michael Myers represents that is like always right behind you and you mm-hmm. just don't know it. Some of my favorite moments of the show was when they had no grounds, like no nowhere to be. They were just camping. Mm-hmm. And it's like one of the most shocking moments. I mean, this is season one. Uh, is they they're camping out rick hasn't gotten back to them or or he he just is about to or Mm -hmm. something and they're just in the middle of the woods and they're sitting around the campfire and they just get overtaken by walkers out of nowhere the camera pans around there's a walker grilling a s'more right there (laughs) they they make eye contact Um, no but but i remember that moment yeah that was was that feeling like there's always one right (laughs) they're talking bad about the walkers there's one right behind me (laughs) (laughs) but that feeling that the walker was always right behind you, kind of like yeah. it follows kind of thing, right? And that's mm-hmm. totally gone. Yeah, so I don't know how really you do unless there. you. So maybe if you put Daryl on the road, maybe yeah. you get that back. Yeah, going back to basics, not yeah. a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, well, guys, let us know what you think uh, and, and be kind because I know there's a lot of like uh, strong opinions about what to do with The Walking Dead, but we have loved this show uh, from the beginning and like you, we've had some seasons, some episodes that we love, some that we don't, but yeah, as a fan, is there a version of this show? It's easy just to say like, no, let's we're done with it, and I think all of us feel that way on some level too, but we want to hear your ideas for like what version of The Walking Dead, if it does continue, what version of it do you want to see? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, reminder, subscribe to New Rockstars for all of our updates and deep dives into all the shows and movies that you love. Thanks, guys. 